Greetings. Greetings. Greetings, free people of this earth. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with others and to assume among the powers of this earth the separate an equal station to which the laws of nature and the laws of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the cause which impels them to the separation. Now, we, the people of this earth, specifically the Awakens, the American Indians of the island of Zamayaka, this little specific corner right here, and for everything that is attached and associated to us by descent or by extension marriage we as a people of this earth hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights which are fundamental to be specific that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the absolute right of the people to alter or to abolish that government and to institute new government or self governance laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to themselves as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness now this was a quote from the preamble of the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America, July 4th, 1776. So this document is clearly stating way before 1948 that we have certain unalienable rights which are our basic fundamental rights and freedoms which are now being abrogated abridged and infringed upon by a corporate body politic now this is where I'll make my public declaration. The document in front is my public declaration 
It's a declaration of renunciation of citizenship, which is lawful and legal. On the top of my document, where you'll see, without prejudice, all fundamental rights reserved, those unalienable rights that I just talked about, that's what's here. Record number. I keep a record of my documents going forward. I've had this information and this implementation in a lot of documents early. But I've been experimenting and doing so much. So I get away from a lot of things that should be relevant. So I must thank my good brother, Travis. Yeah, man. For bringing these things back to memory. Even the way I was styled my document. With my writing in purple. Yeah, man. And I must thank quite a few of my colleagues out there. My good brother, Dimitri. My good brother, Joel Jaguar C. Yeah, man. These are people who are dead a long time and stay consistent. My beautiful sister, Hannah, clan mother, Hannah. Yeah, man. These are people who stay active, who stay true. Our seven star general. I am evil. Yeah, man. And we have quite a few other people there that is, you know, so essential to us trying to come together as a unit, irrespective of our political differences or religious differences or spiritual differences. We are just trying to unite ourselves with one common goal to say, hey, we are free. This is a free dominion. This is a free domain. And we are just saying freedom. And we are doing it lawfully. And we are doing it, I would say, correctly. Because we are lay out where we are lay out. We are not necessarily asking permission. That's asinine. This is where... I'm making my public declaration saying, hey, I do not longer wish to be governed by your corporate body politic, government of Jamaica. Under the record, you said, Judiciary Act of September 24, that's where I'm giving notice, saying, irrespective of what my form is, once you can read it and comprehend it, any average normal ones, then you cannot dismiss my document. You cannot dismiss my document. And people, for the record, and for your information, whenever you're presenting any document, to any government agency. You're literally presenting it to a court. Don't be fooled. If it's some bank, if it's some credit card ruler, it's the court because it's only attorneys respond to these documents. Only attorneys. The average man and woman being employed cannot touch these things. Everything goes to their corporate attorneys. You know what I mean? who in turn notify their courts. And there are many different courts, courts that has no name as such. And there are banks that have name as courts. So it's just step by step, people. A whole lot of things are going on, so we have to kind of ignore a whole heap of it and just get focused straight to the point. Now here, I remove that crown and I place my house crest. House of Dallas, that's the crest. Light come from above. I got at least three different crests. I have my war crest. I have my crest that it is like when you're coming out for celebration. It's a whole different thing, but that's a whole different level of knowledge. And you see where my location is, executor's office. Linton-Neil, executor. Number 
address 232 Louise, Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica, Commonwealth. That's my jurisdiction. I'm off the Commonwealth. And to the Register General Department, Whitnam Park there. Jamaica Nationality Regulation 1962, Regulation 10, 8 September 2021. Declaration of Renunciation of Citizenship under Section 7 of the Act made by a citizen of Jamaica who is also a citizen of one of the countries mentioned in the first schedule to the Act or of the Republic of Ireland or a national of a foreign country. What we can do is look at the British Nationality Act of 1948, Part 2. I think it would be Section 4 there. Anywhere where it said citizenship by birth. And you would be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies. So that would be where we choose to It as a resort because that was the laws in place before this corporate charter. And these laws are still existing laws. The only amendment to that 1962 constitution was in chapter 3 by assent of the Governor General. So Attention to the Chief Justice and Deputy Keeper of the Records. Number one, I, Linton O'Neill of the House of Dallas. Hey, you can't tell me who I am. You can't tell me what I am. You can't tell me my name. You, 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 you don't even speak to me. I, Linton O'Neill of the House of Dallas, am of full capacity and was born at Victoria Jubilee Hospital, Jamaica Commonwealth. On that date right here. I have not been married, boy. No woman no really want me. I can't tell you that. Them will like me for a moment. But the moment them come in proximity to me, everything changed. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Because them will like me for a moment and then the next moment them can't bother with me. Or probably it's vice versa. Probably I should put the blame on the woman. Probably it's me. You know? Yeah, man. I probably get bored easily. However, I've never been married. Can't wait to get married, though. I am a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies by birth under the laws of that country and an American national under the laws of that country. I hereby renounce my citizenship of Jamaica. I, Linton O'Neill of the House of Dallas, Principal and Executor. Doing business as Linton Dallas do solemnly and sincerely declare that the foregoing particulars stated in this declaration are true. And I make this solemn declaration conscientiously believe in the same to be true. Knowing the same to be true. Present a signature that would be the Linton Dallas. And that's what I'm doing business as. Now the principal autograph will be a little bit different. But the signature is completely separate and distinct from the autograph. Now I'll place the signature there. Why? Because that's what's in the national database. And it's a maid subscribed, 8 of September, and it's signed by the Justice of the Peace in total conformity with the legal process. So this is my declaration. This is my declaration that I'll be placing out there formally. Because I've been placing document on that public record, but again, 
when we get a chance to learn and improve, then we're going to naturally grow. We're going to naturally develop and we're going to naturally become better. Now, here I am. I'm not one of those men that is going to say, hey, I know everything and I know it all. Man, what I know is so much. It's what I do is important. Because I can't move on a level where my common folk will not be able to follow what I have done, will not be able to grasp what I have done, will not be able to comprehend what I have done. I don't want them to just understand that will be standing under my authority. I want them to comprehend so they can become what they are supposed to be. So this is where we take our baby steps. Why is Andrew Holiness and by extension the government of Jamaica acting this way? Because it's presumed we have delegated our consent or delegated a little of our authority for him to do that. For me, I've been persecuted by this oppressive state. And my persecution is recorded where members of this state, members of this corporation, this, this company, arbitrarily just take my private property that has no attachment, no registration to this company, to this government of Jamaica. And because they have a standing army, they say, hey, we're big, bad, and mighty, and our might make us right. This is the very language of that Constable Martin Dale. They might promote him now because when you give a lot of trouble, you may get a lot of promotion within that system but i'm quite sure there's so many good people so many good people within that system but a lot of time bad ones spoil those that are good but from my experience if i have a clean glass of water and i add just a just a drop a substance that is unclean then it pollutes the whole water it pollute that whole, that entire glass of water. So I know good people is there, but the good people, you know, will look the other way. And that is called complicent. You become an accomplice to the act, even though you're not actually perpetrating or committing the act, but you're allowing the act, the criminal act, to continue. I've placed so much documenting their quotes, giving them notice, giving them all different kind of information, saying this is what it is. To no avail. To no avail. It's been November 30, 2019. I have no access to my automobile. To the detriment of I. And that is a wrong. And the courts seems to have conspired with all other agencies in the deprivation of my fundamental rights and freedoms. Hence, I've reached this point where I say, enough is enough. I have to throw this burden from off me. I have to remove this yoke from off me. There is so much criminal activity out there. Where you should waste your time. Or you should apply your time. But when you take a free man, a man like I, and imprison I because of your feelings, because you're in prison I for a case where I have never been charged and whatever the charge was did not warrant 45 days in the general penitentiary now known as Tower Street Correctional Facility that 
asylum. And I won't say it is an insane asylum, in, but it is an asylum. And there's a lot of insane people there. And they have special places to put those people. But these, pe these places house where they call the people that will choose to do their own thing. They will choose criminality on some high level. I didn't make that choice. Why was I placed there? Chief Judge Chester Crooks. If I ask you, who are you? As a public servant, you're supposed to give me a name. Who are you? What is your purpose? Present your delegation of authority because I do not consent to no next man governing over me. I'm no criminal here. Why am I here? This is the problem with this society. You have this classist mentality that you were taught by your foreign oppressors. We have multiple policies, not laws, for the laws is for everyone, but your policies restrict common folk. The people that doesn't fit in your class. And your policy exempt your so-called privileged folk, especially your high yellow folk, like Mr. Bradshaw at that Tower Street Correctional Facility, that arbitrarily withhold my money that I went into that prison with, 38, $39,400. And then force I to subject myself to prisoners having access to that account by way of total lockdown. Only an ex-prisoner can go shop for you. And when I was released, there is supposed to be X amount of money on my account. Now, Mr. Bradshaw is totally unavailable. Can't get him on the phone, can't get no more information. All I'm hearing now is the money spent off. So it seems like this high yellow privilege Bradshaw is in cohorts with this sissify prisoner they call Evans. Because Evans is who Bradshaw delegate to run that scam, that racket. Because there is no actual money. They say it's only credit. So your money, all that money is just sitting in a corner. So where is it, Mr. Bradshaw? When I said, give to three bread, you know, I know down there. Three warrior in a place, so I know, you know. From them show me our energy, my officer, yeah, give thanks to them energy, yeah. Because when I get in a prison, you know, I left court people, straight from court, locked down overnight in a half a tree, slept in that boat bullpen, well, I never sleep. But outdoors all night, this is the torture where Chief Chester Crooks put me through. That was his instruction, keep him right there, lock him down, make him stay right there, up on the cold concrete there. You know, say I'm a sovereign man. And next day, they whiff me straight to prison. So, I have no accessory, no, not, not all. So, I have all a brethren where, hold the roll on your warrior, hold this, hold that. Me I say, I mean, give thanks. So, by, 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 by nature, me have to show back them love. And this is how me is a man, lawyer. When you come around me, you come around me with love, Rasta. You can't get nothing but love from me. And you can get it perpetually until you are something change that. So this is the energy where we push. So when that high yellow cashier of the Tower Street Correctional Facility engaged in racketeering, fraud, forgery, which is crime, 
then this is the notice so later you'll see it in the news where a whole bunch of things are happening you remember this notice return my money to my man return my property to my man or you split it up with the man them of the three brethren them of the tell us in this way forget them thing that simple thing that you people <laughs> You people are just something else. I have no interest. No interest in being governed by a set of pompous, corrupt, unkind, ungodly, filthy men and women acting in the capacities as public servants. I personally have enough. So this is where I am. The next thing for you registrar generals over there. Access the information and affidavit for the request of information pursuant to Part 4, Section 25, Subsection 6 of the National Identity and Registration Act. <laughs> These are your laws. Attention Chief Justice and Deputy Keeper of Records. I hereby request a statement of all information stored in your national database about this man. Yeah, man. Now watch me now. I one of them man that will not give a F. What kind of public information and private information? If a foreign government have all of these information, it's never private. It's only the illusion of privacy. Now I'm making this mess public. I mean, so this is the ownership. So I need all the information you keep on me. Everything you want to have about me, you have to come forward, including these court cases, including that case where Chief Judge Chester Crook stand in that court in 2020 and bow to this man, this sovereign man in his capacity, three times, and dismiss all claims of forgery and fraud. This was when Detective Sergeant Kirk Roach took my driver's license, which I endorsed by placing an adhesive American $1 stamp on it and canceling it. And he took my birth certificate at the time because I have a few of those. And where I canceled that instrument, and he was saying it's fraud and forgery, and he's going to prosecute me. This was Detective Sergeant Kirk Roach. And they take me to that criminal court. Men, I've been to court over probably so many times, but it was all a learning process. I had to walk that walk where the common folk walk. Yeah, man. That way, when I'm walking away from this mess, the common folk can say, Yeah, I said, I'm put the king through it and watch the king and walk away from them gloriously. Free! <laughs> Free! Prime Minister and your holiness, with all due respect, sir, listen. Listen very carefully. I totally comprehend the office that you hold, but that office is beneath me, way beneath this man. It's beneath our society, and it's way beneath the people of this island. It's just that they are totally unaware of the pecking order. That the Mosai is the creator, and the Mosai create man, and man create things. So when you place yourself as a thing, then you shall be totally in the control of this man and any man because no thing a thing cannot rule or govern over the man when all men are created equal so I'm quite sure you are aware of all this information Prime Minister and your holiness quite sure and you have made your choice. And hey, I'm not the one to say, boy, you wrong or you right. I'm just here to say, whatever you're doing, 
you know who it apply to. So listen. Let your policy enforcers know about this man. So when I move out there, you and them will understand that I am that man. I am he. Yeah, man. Someone have to come up and take a stand. Someone have to come up and take a stand. I don't see Muta Baruka doing it. I don't see Sizzla Kalanji doing it. I don't see Bojo Bantan doing it. I hear people talking, 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 but they're talking S-H-I-T. So you're not doing nothing. Here I am doing something. I am removing myself from this corporate body politic known as the government of Jamaica. Placing myself lawfully within the commonwealth jurisdiction where you government of jamaica has no place or no action vamos you oppressive corporation vamos